Hello guys, how are you? I hope you're all alright. So I'm going to talk you through this jingle that I made. I re was uh, requested to make a jingle in the style of something from Radio 2. So I'm going to walk you through it. I, I mean, it took me about an hour and a half, two hours to create it. Um, so I don't, didn't really want to bore you with that. So here you go. Step one. I listened to a few of their jingles and there was loads of strings and piano and drums and all kind of real sounding instruments. So I used um, Native Instruments Complete to, uh, to build it with the instruments. So let me bring that up for you so you can see it. There you go. So this is the drummer, so I can use the keyboard I've got in front of me, not the computer one, I've got a MIDI keyboard, and uh, play some beats like, like this. So... That is drums. There's so many instruments. Um, I won't bore you with going through them all, but you can see all the instruments we've got there. Strings and guitars and pianos, synthesizers and all that. Anyway, I've recorded these parts in already, so let's crack on with that. I started by listening to some of the piano parts, and this is what I've got piano-wise. This is just the notes. Once I had recorded that, I then went to find the chords to go with it, and I ended up with this. And uh, on there we've got a little EQ on each piano. So on the chords, you've, your EQ is looking like this. Just a dip around 200. And then with the notes, I got a um a high pass filter with pretty much everything cut out. Um listening doing all the wrong things. Yeah, listening to um to that with the filter on and off is like so quite a big difference there. It just ta takes away all the low end. Which is fine because we're going to replace the low end with all these other instruments. It was just supposed to be there to fill in the gaps, I suppose. So, so far you've got the chords and the notes. I then went and did the drums. So, this is those. Oh, let's start at the beginning, shall we? So there you go, so far we've got piano, piano chords, and drums. I have then gone with the bass. There you go. I then went ahead and done some singing. I sang before I actually added, added the end parts on here because I didn't know how I wanted it to finish. I had the intro part done and then when it came to it, I didn't know how to go. So, let me, um, if I can remember how to do this. Nope. That is not the right one, is that? Yeah, you go, mute those. So, after I had recorded this first part, I then went and sang because I didn't know how exactly I wanted it all to sing a uh, sound, should I say. So here is the um, first part that I laid down, sounding like this. Holly Rollins on CHBN. Uh, that has been heavily edited with Melodyne. So without the Melodyne. Holly Rollins on CHBN. I suppose it wasn't that bad, but it's still bad. Um, I then layered it with some more takes. Holly Rollins on CHBN. And another take. Holly Rollins on CHBN. And so on. 
Ollie Rollins on CHBN. And another one. Ollie Rollins on CH. Which is turned down. Let's bring that up. Ollie Rollins on CHBN. And let's mute this one so you can hear the others a little clearer. What's going on there? On They've all been treated with Melodyne. Uh, I won't go into all the details on how I did that, but it was just pitch correction, removing some modulation and a bit of timing. So once I'd done that, I had more of an idea of how I wanted the end part to sound. So I can now go ahead and unmute these. I then put these little guitar accents on. So let's have a listen to those. So here is your guitar accents on their own. They are running through a guitar rig, which is from Native Instruments. That is it. If I turn that off, you can hear it like this. I think you can uh, quite, quite easily hear the difference there. And then we went ahead and did the uh, horns. Horns were next, sounding like this. And with the music. I've got the mix quite low in the mix. I didn't want them to stand out too much because I've then got strings to go on top, which follow like this. So, um, one moment. I'm being really stupid. Yeah, so. You can, um, you can hear, you've got the, um, mm, 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 we're doing, yeah, the horn are sounding like that. And then you've got the string sounding like this. But of course I did drop the, um, horns back into the mix a little bit, but together that you can still hear them quite nicely. The horn just gives the string a little kick at the beginning of each note, which I think works quite well. So then I went and added the, uh, what do you call them? The voiceover, which is sounding like this on its own. Online, on your smart speaker and on 100.8 FM. And then with everything, you've got this. Online, on your smart speaker, and on 100.8 FM. Ali Rollins on CHBN. And uh, yeah, as for writing the jingle, that is about it. That's all of the elements put down there. I mean, you kind of need to know when to stop. There are other parts you could put in. There's probably parts you could take out. Um, it, the main thing is just getting an idea. Once you've got the idea, it's fine. They write themselves, but it's just coming up with that idea. Um, I mean, I can go through all of the processing that I've used. I mean, that could bore you. I've probably done that in other videos anyway. On the voiceover, you've got um, a Melodyne. So I do actually tune the voiceover a little bit. Not, not tightly, but for example, this one, uh, note, that one note here. I 
was actually up here. I... When I when I uh, read it. So listen to that. Online. On your smart speaker. And you can listen to it on its own. Online. On your smart speaker. And then bringing it down. I... I think just really helped. Online. So it's the word line. So they're quite subtle, but the things that bother me. I just think it sounds a lot cleaner. I mean, for the singing, you have to have it. If you're a shitty singer like I am. Um, for example, what's this one we've got? Holly Rollins on CA. Yeah. Okay, so that's cutting out because I've got the noise gate on. I'll turn that off. Holly Rollins on CHBN. Yeah, it's a little bit glitchy because my singing was that bad and it's uh, trying to figure out what to do with it. However, it doesn't really matter once you've got them all layered out. Up, should I say. Once they're all layered up, you can't really hear the little glitches like that. I mean, okay not ideal but if you're a bad singer what can you do so that's about it if you've got any questions drop them as always and here it is once more online on your smart speaker and on 100.8 fm and that is that thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next tutorial whenever that might be Bye bye